is all about. We say 4IR is the future, 4IR technologies are the future, but they will not help us in the community if they do not impact the society positively. And with this partnership between UJ, between the Faculty of Engineering the Built Environment and Schneider Electric, we can showcase that these technologies can be used to improve lives. And, and we have got a good record with, track record with this partnership. I mean, you know we've got the Bakwani project, which is the first smart village in the country. And with this, you know, we're not train future engineers you know, can install these technologies. And you know, seeing is believing, because sometimes we hear about these things, and if you see them in action, then you realize that, you realize the potential. And we want to say with this lab, that our students can also learn how to install this. We hope some can be entrepreneurs and install these things and ensure that we've got a connected country. At Schneider Electric, we have a very strategic focus to create access to education for youth and in fact for all generations. UJ is a strategic partner for us already since 2016 when we established them as one of the partners in our French South African Schneider Electric Education Center network. The beauty of our partnership with UJ really focuses on the fact that UJ is a comprehensive university working across various fields and various levels in the field of energy. And what that means is that we can showcase the technology and solutions that we have at Schneider Electric to youth across South Africa, really focusing from basic levels of engineering, home wiring, home automation, to more advanced solutions, looking at smart cities, smart buildings, and really bringing all of our technology to life. And so that is why we love to work with UJ, because they're also very futuristic in their thinking, and they bring our technology into the academic environment, which is really, really where we would like to see our technology. This gives students access to what is taking place, what can be done for real. We also still need to continue to dream big, to dream big about new things and so on. So uh, students coming in here, they also see, for example, one of the uh, exercises here is going, walking in a mine, uh, being able to go and see what, what is there and how you need to be careful in walking around it. So it's very good for, for students. And students have, um, uh, part of what I like about this is that unlike a lot of things that we have done in the past where you cannot, you are limited by a lecturer, you know, his availability. In this case, you can come in and then get into a virtual world, learn about things uh, you don't see, but those guys here are looking at how you could walk through, down to the earth uh, core and see what is in there, how hot it is, and learn about it. So it's an opportunity for people who are thinking about what is 4IR. A lot of people are wondering that question. What is 4IR? Now we are saying 4IR is these things, is these technologies, is the visualization technologies, is the ability to do things in a, in a virtual world and have them be realized in a real world. It's learning, it's being able to get information about things. So, so it's really important and it's a great you know, opportunity. 4IR to me and 4IR technologies are like fire. Fire, you can harness it, use it in a way that it enables and it benefits you, but if it's out of control, it will ban you. So, as a university, we come from the angle that 4IR can be used meaningfully, and we want to come up with solutions that show that 4IR can be used in a way that it advances humanity, it supports people, live a better life, and address whatever risks that come with it. And with this, we can show the positive side of 4IR technologies. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.